Okay, next we're going to make this sleeve. I already made one size here. So both sides we're gonna make the same. So this is the uh, double crochet stitch right here. But I make into the back loop only and make in round. And I make 10 rounds of double crochet. Okay, with the color A. And then after that, we're gonna use color B and make V stitch. And I make five rounds of V stitch. If you want your sleeve to be longer, you can add more rounds. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna add new yarn right here. This is the armhole that we leave is open. And we will crochet on the right side, okay? Now the top is right side facing you. So insert the hook into under armhole here. And bring the new yarn with the uh, color A. Pull the yarn out and tie a knot. And insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull up a loop and chain three. One, two, and three. The first three chain always count as one double crochet. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into the same chain that we did. Same chain stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Now we have two double crochet here. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into next space right here. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Okay, and then two double crochet into next space. Do the same, yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And then one more double crochet into the same space. Okay, see it's like two double crochet into the same stitch and then one double crochet into next stitch and then two double crochet into next stitch. It's like two one two one two one. And I want to show you the space that I'm talking about. So next space should be this one. And the space is uh, the end of each row that we did the uh, panels. Okay, I will call that space. I hope you can see. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna make one double crochet into next space. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop. Okay. And then two double crochet into next space. And then one double crochet into next space. And two double crochet into next space. I want to show you what it looks like. Okay, you're going to keep doing that. So, next space should be one double crochet, and then two double crochet into next space, and then one double crochet into the next space. Keep doing that. And when you reach the uh, shoulder seam, you're going to treat that stitch to be one space as well, okay? You're gonna count that to be one space. And keep making that around the armhole here. And I will meet you guys when you come to the end of round one. I'm in the end of round one and I have 50 double crochet stitches around the armhole. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the third 
chain that we did here. So this first chain, second chain, and third chain. Insert the hook into the third chain. Pull up a loop and pull it through. And round two, we're gonna chain three. First three chain all the way count as one double crochet. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into the back loop of each stitch around. So yarn over, insert the hook into the first stitch here. In the back loop only. Right here. And pull up a loop. Pull through two loops and pull through two loops. And do the same with next stitch. Back loop only. I hope you can see back loop right here. Okay? Oops. <laughs> okay. You gonna keep making uh, double crochet into the back loop in each stitch. Okay, around. And I will meet you guys when you come to the end of round two. I'm in the end of round two and I have the same 50 double crochet stitches around. I want you guys to count your stitches every time. Make sure that you not increase or decrease by accident. Okay? And then I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain here that we did. So this first chain, second chain and third chain. Insert the hook there. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Now, round 3 to round 10, we're going to repeat round 2, okay? Which is chain 3, all we count as one double crochet. And then, we're going to make the same as round 2. Uh, one double crochet into the back loop of each stitch around. See? Do exactly the same. So keep making that around and when you come to the end, you should have the same uh, uh, stitches which is 50 double crochet stitches and then you're going to slip stitch into the third chain and then start a uh, new round by making three chains and then half, I'm sorry, double crochet into the back loop of each stitch around. Keep doing that till you have 10 rounds and I will meet you guys back in. Now I have 10 rounds here and then this is the end of round 10. I already uh, slip stitch and then I just gonna cut the yarn, just leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end. And then pull the yarn through. And next, we're going to do uh, the V-stitch part here. So bring the new yarn and we're going to uh, insert the hook into the uh, third chain here where we uh, slip stitch at the end of round 10 here. Okay? Insert the hook there. Pull the new yarn out with the uh, color B. And tie a knot. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull up a loop and chain four. One, two, three, and four. The first three chains count as one double crochet plus one chain. And then make one double crochet into the same stitch. See, that's what it look like. It's create a V stitch. And then we're gonna skip next stitch and then make 
V stitch into the next stitch which is one double crochet, chain one and then one more double crochet into the same stitch. That is V stitch. Now we have two V stitches and then skip next stitch and make, and make a V stitch into the next stitch which is one double crochet, chain one and then one more double crochet into the same stitch. And repeat that, skip one stitch and then V stitch into the next, which is one double crochet and then chain one and then one more double crochet into the same stitch. So now we have four V stitches. And then we're just gonna repeat that. You're gonna skip one stitch and make V stitch into the next stitch and then skip one stitch and V stitch into next stitch. Repeat that around and I will meet you guys when you come to the end of round 11. I'm in the end of round 11 and I have 25 V stitches. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain. Remember first uh, we make four chain but we're gonna insert the hook into the third chain and make slip stitch. So this first chain, second chain and third chain insert the hook there, pull up a loop and pull it through. And then for round 12 we're gonna slip stitch into the chain space here. Okay insert the hook into the chain space. Pull up a loop and pull it through. And then we're gonna chain four. We're gonna start the same as round 11. We chain four and the first three chain count as one double crochet and then plus one chain. And then make one double crochet into the same chain space. So that first V stitch and then we're gonna make V stitch into next chain one space right here which is one double crochet and then chain one and then one more double crochet into the same chain space. Now we have two V stitch and we're gonna make a V stitch into next chain space which is one double crochet chain one and then one more double crochet into the same chain space. And now we have three V stitches. And in each chain one space you're gonna create a V stitch in there. Okay? Keep repeating that around till you come to the end of round 12 and I will meet you guys back in. I'm in the end of round 12 and I have the same 25 V stitches and we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain. So this first chain, second chain and third chain insert the hook there, pull up a loop and pull it through. And then for round 13 to round 15 we're gonna repeat round 12. Okay, slip stitch into the chain space and then chain four and for three chain count as one double crochet plus one chain and make one double crochet into the same chain space and then you're gonna make one V stitch into next chain one space do the same thing. One double crochet, chain one and then one more double crochet into the same chain space. So now we have two V stitches. I'm just gonna show you one more time. One V stitch into the next chain space which is uh, one double crochet, chain one and then one double crochet. See? You're just gonna keep Repeating that into each chain one space, you're gonna make 
uh, V stitch in there. And when you come to the end, you're gonna uh, slip stitch into the third chain. And then repeat round 12, okay? Till you have five rounds of uh, color B, which is V stitches, okay? And I will meet you guys back in when you have, uh, when you come to the end of round 15. Now I'm at the end of round 15 and I already slip stitch into the third chain and I'm just gonna cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weaving the end and put the yarn out and then you're just gonna weave bring this in and make sure it's secure, hide the tail and cut the tail okay and then uh, you're gonna weep all the ends that you have and I just want to show you guys here I just gonna clean up around the neck area here if you want to leave it like that it's okay as well but I just want to clean up a little bit with the uh, color B here so we will crochet on the, wrong, uh, on the right side okay sorry <laughs> So I'm just going to insert my hook into this shoulder seam here and bring the color B, put a yarn out and tie a knot. Insert the hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop and chain one. The chain one not count as a stitch. I'm just going to make one single crochet into each stitch around. So one single crochet into next stitch. And one single crochet into next stitch. And one single crochet into the next stitch. So you're gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch around this neck area and when you come to the other shoulder seam you're gonna treat that stitch to be normal stitch okay just making that around and when you come to the end of round one I will meet you guys back in I'm in the end of round one and I have 54 single crochet stitches if you have a couple more or less, it's okay. It doesn't matter, okay? And I'm gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet here. And then chain one, chain one not count as a stitch. And make one single crochet into each stitch around. First single crochet, second and third. So just keep uh, make single crochet around and I will meet you guys when you come to the end of round two. Now I'm at the end of round two and I already slip stitch into uh, the first uh, single crochet. And you're just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end. If you want to keep going make more uh, round it's okay you can add more as much as you like I just make two rounds of single crochet cut the yarn pull the yarn out and then I just gonna weave the end bring my yarn needle and I gonna weave the end inside our sweater here I'm just gonna tie this tail together. Just a couple knots. <laughs> and then you're just gonna hide the tail, make sure it's secure, and trim those tail. And you're done. You're gonna 
Weep all the ends, make sure it's secure and you're done. Now I'm weaving all the ends and I'm done. Yay, congratulations. I hope you enjoy making this sweater. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. This is really soft, really beautiful. I love it so much and I love this yarn. <laughs> So yeah, I would love to see how your sweater turn out. Please text me on social media. I will put all the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye bye.